Hi, I'm Shane with eTrailer.com. Today you're gonna to be taking a look at, I'm gonna walk you through the installation on the Kurt Class 3 Trailer Hitch Receiver on your 2016 Lexus RX350. Adding a hitch to your Lexus is gonna make your vehicle much more versatile. Maybe you wanna put a cargo carrier on it, get some items out from inside the vehicle and make more room for your passengers. Maybe you like to go bike riding. You wanna be able to put a bike rack on it. Maybe you wanna pull a trailer. Keep in mind, these are not designed for the larger tandem axle trailers, but it's gonna work great for your smaller trailers. Maybe you have a small bass boat, maybe you have a small camper you wanna pull. Now, as far as our weight capacities go, we're gonna have a 600 pound max tongue weight, which is gonna be the downward pressure on the inside of the receiver tube. So whatever trailer you're pulling, maybe your cargo carrier, if you have anything loaded on it, you wanna make sure you're not exceeding that downward pressure. We're gonna have a 4,000 pound gross trailer weight, which is gonna be your trailer plus your load included. You can use weight distribution with this hitch. Tongue weight's gonna stay at 600 pounds. Trailer weight's gonna go up to 5,000 pounds. I always recommend checking the owner's manual of your Lexus. You wanna go with the lowest number between the vehicle and the hitch. This is gonna be a class three hitch, two inch by two inch receiver tube opening. We're gonna have a reinforced collar to give us a little extra stability there. Hitch pin hole is gonna be five eighths inch in diameter. It's gonna take a standard five eighths hitch pin. Now your hitch pin and clip does not come with a hitch, however it can be found here at eTrailer.com. We're gonna have rolled steel style safety chain loops. It's gonna accommodate different size safety chain hooks. Now there are locking devices. You can find here at eTrailer.com. What that's gonna do is gonna take any shake and play out of any of your hitch mount accessories. Now as far as how our hitch looks on the back of our vehicle, you can see the only thing noticeable is our receiver tube. It's nice and tucked up close to the bottom of our fascia, so it maintains a nice clean look on the back of the vehicle when not in use. There is another hitch available for the Lexus. It's gonna be the draw tight. It's gonna look very similar to this on the back of the vehicle. Uh, there are some, a few minor differences between the draw tight and the Kurt. With the draw tight, you're gonna have an extra hole in your receiver tube. That's gonna be for a J-pin. J-pin is another stabilization device that takes the shake and play out of your hitch mount accessories. Draw tight also has another advantage. The weight carrying capacity is gonna be a little bit higher. However, that being said, Kurt has an advantage when using weight distribution. When using weight distribution, the trailer weight is actually gonna be 500 pounds higher than the draw tight. I'm gonna give you a few measurements that are very important you need to keep in mind. From the center of our hitch pin hole to the outermost part of the bumper is gonna be about four inches. That number is important for like your bike racks and cargo carriers that may fold up against the vehicle. You wanna make sure you're gonna have enough room. From the ground to the top innermost part of the receiver tube is gonna be about 16 inches. Keep that number in mind for any of your hitch mount accessories that may require a little bit more ground clearance. For those of you that may be a little bit intimidated by installing a hitch yourself, let me assure you, it's very simple. You can do it at home, on the ground, in your own garage with a few simple tools. It's not gonna to require you to lift the vehicle like we have here. Let me walk you through how to do that now. Driver's side, we're gonna have five plugs on the bottom of our frame rail we need to remove. Passenger side, we're gonna have two bolts for our tow hook and two plugs we need to remove. Take a flathead screwdriver. We'll pop the plugs out. And then on our passenger side, we're gonna take a 17 millimeter socket to remove these two bolts on our tow hook. Set the tow hook aside, it will not be reinstalled. Then take our screwdriver, and we're gonna remove these two plugs. Hardware that we're gonna be using, it's gonna be a hex bolt. It's gonna be the same on both sides in a conical tooth washer. You wanna make sure that the teeth are facing up towards the hitch and away from the head of the bolt. We're gonna have three weld nuts on each frame rail. Here, here, and here. It's gonna be the same on the other side. Now, the reason we had to take the caps out of, or the plugs out of these holes, so that our hitch sits flat up against our frame rail. For the factory weld nuts, if for some reason you go to put on the hitch, the plugs have come out, or you don't have any in there, it's a good idea Make sure you clean those weld nuts out, put some spray lubricant in there, take a uh, brush, brush them out. Make sure you can hand thread your bolts into those holes before you install them. You wanna make sure that you don't cross thread those bolts inside that weld nut. And we're gonna take our heat shield, we're just gonna push it down just like this, just enough so that our hitch will fit up inside of here. Now, if you don't feel comfortable doing it like this, you can get an extra set of hands I'm using the exhaust to help hold it up. I'm gonna take my 
bolt for my hardware. I'm going to put one in on each side. That way my hitch is sitting level up against my frame rails. Now I can install my remaining hardware in my other four holes. 19 millimeter socket, you're going to tighten all your hardware. Then you're going to torque all your hardware to the specifications and the instructions. Once you're done torquing all of your hardware, you're ready to go. Again, I'm Shane with eTrailer.com. Hope this video has helped you whether you're still deciding or installing the Curt Class 3 trailer hitch receiver on your 2016 Lexus RX 350.